Butterfly F forms a rotor ring in the cell membrane. Fly F self-assembles to form the ring, which then becomes the foundation for other proteins to attach, which in turn becomes the foundation for the attachment of others. The self-assembly takes place in methodical order through the accurate recognition of appropriate others. With the motor in place as the foundation, the filament that acts as the propeller is then formed of proteins called flagellin. With the help of a capping protein at the tip, flagellin molecules, sent out from the cell body through the central channel of the motor, stack up to form a helical tubular structure. The structure, revealed by electron microscopy, was very much like an artificial motor, with its stator, rotor and bushing and surprised the world. The flagellar proteins exported in this way bind one after another to the distal end. The flagellum becomes longer and it eventually becomes possible for the bacteria to swim. The rotation of the motor is transmitted to the flagellar filament with a gentle helical structure to generate propulsion. The hook acts as a universal joint, so that the torque can be transmitted regardless of the orientation of the flagellar filament. Bacteria can swim about freely because of this. What is the mechanism here? The structure of the hook was studied in detail to learn the secret. The hook is a tube of 55 nanometers in length, in which roughly 130 hook protein subunits are bonded together. This is the atomic model of the hook. The D2 domains of the hook protein are strongly bonded to one another on the hook surface to form the right-handed, six-stranded helices, much like a spring, and they form a kind of mesh structure with the D1 domains on the inside this is what brings about the rigidity against torsion. While there is a large variation in the length of the flagellar filament, the length of the hook is almost constant at 55 nanometers. Mutants with hooks longer or shorter than 55 nanometers cannot swim properly. So how then do hooks have the predetermined length of 55 nanometers? The mechanism that determines hook length is as follows. First, hook protein molecules are efficiently exported and the hook becomes nearly 55 nanometers in length. The autocatalytic cleavage of flu B slows down the export of hook protein. Then several fly K molecules are exported to measure hook length. In other words, the cleavage of flu B works as a molecular timer that controls the speed of hook protein export. As you can see, the precision mechanisms for constructing biological nanostructures are becoming clarified.